Hi guys, welcome along. It's the second round of our club championship, the Thornton Cleavage Running Club, second uh, second round. We're here at Lostock running the Lostock 6. So uh, looking forward to this. It's a bit nippy out, the sun's shining though. It's going to be six miles out around the country lanes, up and over motorways and uh, railways as you can see behind. So uh, looking forward to this. We missed out on the half marathon last week due to illness, but uh, we're going to give this a go. Don't exactly know where the fitness is at because we did lose those couple of days. So uh, yeah, looking forward to it. We'll give it our all. Hopefully somewhere between 40 and 45 minutes on this one today. But uh, hopefully we won't have any blowouts. Just a bit of a fitness test and I think well, we're seven weeks out now from Boston. I know it's only six miles, it's not 26 miles, but it's a good indication of where we are. So yeah, I'm going to go and get this done, go and get my warm-up finished and I will see you out on the run and uh, you can come along with me. So see you in a moment. I'll just do my warm-up, getting a mile or so in at a nice easy pace. And to be, suffice to say, this route is going to be undulating. Been going up and down so many times around this industrial estate. So, uh, yeah, looking forward to it now. Need to get those undulations and don't be scared of hills. In your running, never ever be scared of hills. They are your friend. Do your hill work, practice on them, and you'll be amazed at how many places you can actually make up in a race going up a hill. Because people just sort of like give up going up. It's not a case of trying to stay at the same pace, just stay at the same effort. Just walking through here now, you get those two smells of running. First one is deep heat, and the other one is bacon butties. All right, let's go and drop the uh, go and drop the top off and uh, find the rest of the club, and uh, let's get on with it. Uh, this is our, our 40th anniversary, so it is a, a special race for us. Uh, when you get your medal, you'll, you'll see there's a, uh, a run on the medal. It's actually our, our lifetime president, John Kidd. Slowing down a bit, but it was undulating that mile. It feels like a mile, constant uphill. And oh, there we go, all done dusted. Uh, 42.06 was my time, very pleased with that. Uh, sorry there was no video to the end because the GoPro uh, froze. Uh, I had to wait till it finished to get it going again. But yeah, I'm very pleased with that. I'm just at the finish now, clapping in uh, a few of the uh, fellow club runners. In fact, here comes Tracy. Oh. 
So yeah, pleased with that. I'm going to uh, spend some time with the rest of the club and uh, have a think about this on the way home and then we'll do a video when we get back home. But yeah, enjoyed that. There we go, the Lost Stock 6. We've got the bling. Yeah, 4206, which I'm very pleased with on a course that we will call rolling. <clears throat> yeah, plenty of ups and downs on that particular route, which I'm glad I ran because, again, we're building up for Boston, which we know is a rolling course. So as a lead up to that, I thought this was a very good race. Now, the couple of th there was one thing that really uh, wasn't too good, and that was at the... Uh, and that was at the registration place. They only had three porter toilets. Not enough. Need a few more than that. Long queues were forming. But that said, the race itself was great. Well marshalled. Well, uh, everybody was well, uh, well looked after. And uh, yeah, a good time was had by all. I'll put the stats up on the screen now. As you can see, pretty constant on my miles. For fastest mile was seven minutes, slowest mile was 7.27 and that particularly was mile four to five which is where you turned onto the main road and it was going up and up and up and I think the full mile was all uphill and that was and that was I wouldn't say a struggle but it was I knew I was working, if you know what I mean. You're going and carry on, carry on. I might stop in a minute, might stop in a minute, but just one foot in front of the other, carried on all the way to the top of the hill. And then it was a little bit better, a little bit more downhill back to, to the finish. And as you can see, that last point something of a mile there um, was at the fastest pace, uh, a sub seven minute pace. So all in all, seven minutes, eight seconds was the average pace. And if I did that in a marathon, I should run a marathon in three hours, seven minutes can't see me keeping up that pace for a full 26 miles but over the short distance of six miles which actually measured at 5.9 um that that was fantastic really good effort um maybe my heart rate was a little bit higher than it should have been because i missed a few days and because i'm feeling unwell a week or so ago but overall the, my performance today very very pleased with and it's looking like everything is pointing to being able to run a good Boston Marathon, which is what it all comes down to. So to sum up, fitness is where it needs to be. A little bit of room for improvement, need to bring that heart rate down. But apart from that, very pleased where I am. Seven weeks out from the Boston Marathon. Next outing is in two weeks time at the Trimple 20, where it's going to be racing 20 miles in racing conditions. So that should be a good workout to see how my fitness is at trying to hold the marathon pace for a long distance. So that's coming up in two weeks. Join me for that. Uh, but before you go, hit subscribe, give this video a like and watch this video next.